Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne. This is the prophetic supernatural experience, part two, the prophetic person, and this is chapter 20 of uh, the prophetic supernatural experience, chapter 20. This is called Developing a Deep Relationship with Jesus. It's very interesting. Uh, the, the life of a prophet, uh, a, a person who walks in the office of prophet, is often referred to by people as a person who's a friend of God. Uh, God, uh, it says in uh, the Old Testament, God makes himself known in dreams and visions to a prophet. Dreams and visions makes himself known means that a prophet should see God. A prophet should see Jesus, should meet Jesus. Now, many people talk about Jesus. I talk to him. Many talk... People think they know about Jesus and know about this and this is what I think Jesus was thinking and this is what I think Jesus was thinking then. But when I come across that scripture and I want to know, I ask Jesus, how were you thinking then? And he tells me. Many people know about a historical Jesus. They praise Jesus for his death on the cross. They praise Jesus for coming to earth. They praise Jesus for his name. They praise Jesus for what he accomplished. Very few people have got a spade out and are digging like a shovel, digging and digging and digging and doing the work of an evangelist or doing the work of a teacher of the word of God or doing the work of uh, helping the broken hearted on behalf of Jesus. Very few people are doing the work of Jesus, going out and preaching the gospel to all men and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ and sharing his love with all men. A lot of people talk about Jesus and their love and affection for Jesus, but they don't obey Jesus. Jesus said a person who... who uh, takes up his plough and then takes his hand off the plough is not worthy of me. I wondered for many years why people can't hear from the Holy Spirit, can't hear from Jesus. And John Paul Jackson solved it for me. He said that everyone, when they become a Christian, starts hearing from the Holy Spirit. Then it comes a point, you know, often in many Christian lives, where the Holy Spirit tells them to do something and they don't do it. They refuse to do it. Then the Holy Spirit stops speaking. That's taking your hands off the plough. Jesus says, anyone who wants to follow me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Denying yourself is something that the Western world has got little idea about. Self-denial is abhorrent to the modern Christian. A life of self-denial, of putting others first and the kingdom of God first over your needs and lusts and wants is just something so strange to the West. It's just amazing. You develop a deep relationship with Jesus through obedience to Jesus. You develop a deep relationship with Jesus by taking up your cross, by doing what Jesus commanded, commands you and has commanded in the Bible. You develop a deep relationship with Jesus by self-denial. You develop a close relationship with Jesus by following in the footsteps of Jesus. What would Jesus do? Now, what did Jesus do? Go and do likewise. Jesus shared the parable of the Good Samaritan. They said, who is my neighbour? Love our neighbours as yourself. And they said, who is our neighbour? And he said, the broken hearted person beaten up on the street is your neighbour. So take him off the streets and heal all his wounds and fix him up. Meanwhile, you walk through any American or Australian city, there's homeless all over the place sleeping on the streets. 
What are they doing sleeping on the streets? What are you doing for them? You develop a deep relationship with Jesus by obeying Jesus, by getting to know him, by talking to him and doing what he tells you to do. Am I saying that this is a salvation by works doctrine, that we're not saved by grace? I'm saying that if you love Jesus, you'll obey Jesus and you'll do what he wants his kingdom done. He, he, you'll do what his kingdom wants done in the world. In, in other words, if, if you want to develop a close relationship with Jesus, you'll be helping Jesus' kingdom come on earth. You'll be part of the solution in the world, part of the answer in the world, instead of part of the problem. And start, instead of a person who's worried about all the problems in the world, you'll be the person fixing all the problems in the world. Walking in the prophetic office means that you can walk into churches and solve their problems. Becoming a close friend of Jesus allows Jesus to impart to you the knowledge that can fix churches and fix individual lives. You can only fix people's lives and fix churches and fulfill your prophetic calling if you have a deep relationship with Jesus. If you haven't got a deep relationship with Jesus, you haven't got the compassion or love of Jesus in your heart. If you haven't got a deep relationship with Jesus, the mind of Christ would be some strange thing to you. The revelations of Jesus, the revelations of the Holy Spirit in the Bible can only be best understood when you're operating in the mind of Christ through the heart and compassion and the love of Jesus in your own heart. All of it works together, your mind, body and spirit. You need to walk into the shoes of Jesus and start to become Jesus to your generation. You can make a difference. You've got to develop a deep relationship with Jesus. You do that through prayer, through reading the Bible, through spending time at the feet of Jesus and obeying Jesus, doing what he tells you to do. To become a prophetic person, you've got to develop a deep relationship with Jesus. Jesus said, you're no longer my servants, but you're my friends, if you do what I command you. And if you do what Jesus commands you, you get to know the Father. 